Welcome back to The Deep Dive, where we uh, really get into the nitty gritty of the stories everyone's talking about. And this week, we're diving headfirst into, well, it's a bit of a messy one. We're looking at Mexico and specifically how politics, the media, and uh, the justice system all kind of collide. Yeah, it's a, it's a tangled web for sure. It really is. So we're kicking things off with a speech that honestly has caused quite a stir. But, and this is where it gets really interesting, it's not just about the speech itself. We're going to untangle how this speech links to, well, a journalist named Annabel Hernandez, a massive drug bust, and some serious questions about how Mexico's justice system actually works. Sounds complicated. Oh, it definitely is. So first things first, let's talk about Annabel Hernandez. Now, she's a pretty big deal, a journalist known for, well, let's just say she doesn't shy away from investigating organized crime and corruption. And lately, she's been very vocal, very critical about the current administration in Mexico. I've seen her name pop up a lot. You and everyone else. See, Hernandez has been writing pretty extensively, actually, about the current administration and their potential ties to, well, cartels. Okay, so that's some pretty serious stuff. Yeah, and it's created a lot of controversy, lots of back and forth. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Just outside a courthouse in New York City, right after the sentencing of Mexico's former security minister, no less, Hernandez found herself in a situation. Uh-oh. Right. She's confronted by this woman, and of course, someone catches the whole thing on video. Now, you might think, oh, okay, just another argument, people disagree, but this little confrontation, it goes viral. Really? Why? Because, and this is what we're going to unpack, this seemingly small event, this yeah. argument. It speaks volumes about what's going on in Mexico right now. It's like a, a tiny crack that reveals a much bigger problem underneath. I see. So it's not just about the argument itself. Exactly. It's about what that argument represents. So help us understand, what do you think is at the core of this whole debate? Why is Hernandez such a lightning rod? Well, you can't ignore the bigger picture, right? Hernandez has been incredibly critical of the current Mexican government, even suggesting there's a direct link between the president, AMLO, and drug trafficking. She even wrote a whole book about it, The Secret History. Yeah, and that book really threw a wrench into things. Absolutely. I mean, she's making some serious accusations, and naturally, not everyone is thrilled about it to say the least. <laughs> so this confrontation, this viral video, it kind of plays into this whole narrative that's already swirling around Hernandez, right? It's like adding fuel to the fire. Her critics see her as someone with an agenda, and this confrontation, even if it seems minor on the surface, just adds fuel to that fire. It makes people question her objectivity, you know? It's like this one little event suddenly becomes a piece of a much bigger puzzle. Suddenly, we're not just talking about two people disagreeing. We're talking about power struggles, political maneuvering. It's a whole different ballgame. But hold on, because just when you think you're starting to see the bigger picture, things get even more complicated. While Hernandez is out there saying the government is involved with cartels, the Mexican Navy goes and makes a massive drug bust. And I mean massive, we're talking 8.3 tons, submarines, multiple ships, the whole shebang. It's like they're trying to make a statement. Wow, talk about a power move. It seems like a direct response to what Hernandez is saying, almost like they're trying to discredit her. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, Hernandez, you think we're in cahoots with cartels? Well, check out this massive drug bust. It makes you wonder. Why now? What are they really playing at? It's a good question. If they really are as deep in bed with these cartels as she's claiming, why make such a big deal out of catching them? It just doesn't add up. And unless it's all a big show, a PR stunt to try and save face. And, you know, that brings us to another really interesting point raised in this speech, something maybe even more intriguing than this whole Hernandez drama. They start talking about Mexico's justice system. Oh, this should be good. Right. And they don't hold back. They're basically saying that the judges are way too lenient, that they're letting criminals walk free after all this effort has been put into catching them. And that's a problem that's been brewing for a while. I mean, even people from the previous administration were saying the same thing, that the justice system isn't equipped to handle these kinds of cases. It's like a revolving door. It really is. They even give this crazy example. 19 people caught and released for drug trafficking, went right back to doing the exact same thing. 
Seriously. Okay. So it's not just about catching these guys. It's about having a system that can actually hold them accountable. And that's where things get really interesting, especially considering what's happening in Mexican politics right now. They're trying to push through these big judicial reforms, but there's a ton of resistance, especially between the executive and judicial branches. It's like a tug of war. And the justice system is caught right in the middle. Exactly. And it gets even more complicated when you look at what happened with this one particular judge. The speech calls him out specifically because he blocked part of this big reform package. Basically, he put a wrench in the whole thing. Wow. Talk about a power move. Yeah. So now you've got the executive branch trying to change the system, mm -hmm. the judicial branch pushing back, and this whole drug war raging in the background. What a mess. It's a mess and a half, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be cleaned up anytime soon. And it's a mess that uh, shines a light on some really big problems. You could say that again. You've got a judge basically going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the president, accusations of government corruption flying around, and then, bam, this huge drug bust that seems like it's trying to prove everyone wrong. It's like everyone's playing 4D chess while we're just trying to figure out checkers. But it's not just a game, is it? We're talking yeah. about a real power struggle here. Oh, absolutely. And it's not just between people. It's between the branches of government, you know? Mm -hmm. It makes you think about what justice even means in Mexico. This push for reform, these fights between the people in charge, all these accusations, it just shows how messed up things are. And the speech, it argues that all this fighting, all this backstabbing, it makes it even harder to fight organized crime. Well, yeah. If criminals think they can do whatever they want, that the courts can't or won't stop them, then what's the point of even trying to enforce the law? It's like, why bother, <laughs> right? And that's got to be discouraging for the people putting their lives on the line to catch these guys. Totally. It's demoralizing. And it just makes things worse. When people lose faith in the system, it opens the door for even more corruption and violence. It's a vicious cycle. It makes you wonder, what's going to happen to those 23 people the Navy just picked up? Will they actually face consequences or will they just slip through the cracks like always? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? What happens to them will tell us a lot about the future of Mexico. If they get off easy because of some loophole or a judge who goes easy on them, it'll send a very clear message. Yeah, like the bad guys always win. And what does that say to the people risking their lives to stop them? Exactly. It's like telling them their work doesn't matter, that the system is rigged. It could make things so much worse. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Mm -hmm. You know it's coming, but you can't stop it. It's scary and overwhelming. We've got political scandals, corruption, a justice system that's barely holding on. It's a lot. And then you've got the media right in the thick of it. Say what you want about Annabelle Hernandez. She's mm -hmm. brought these issues to light. She's making people talk about corruption and the role of the press. And that's important. This isn't just a local story. It's something that affects everyone, even if they don't realize it. Exactly. The war on drugs, these criminal organizations, the fight for justice, it's all connected. What happens in Mexico matters to the rest of the world, too. Makes you think, for sure. We hear this stuff on the news, but when you really dig in like we've done today... It hits different. It does. It reminds you that this is real life, you know, real people caught in the middle of this chaos. And it makes you realize how important it is to to think for yourself, to question what you hear and and look for different sides to the story. And that's what we're all about here on The Deep Dive, giving you the info you need to form your own opinions. We've covered a lot today, but, uh, well, it's obvious the story's far from over, isn't it? Not even close. Those arrests... The fight for judicial reform, journalists like Hernandez putting everything on the line, it's all still unfolding. And we'll be watching. Absolutely. And as we wrap up, remember, this isn't just happening over there. These are global issues, folks. So keep asking those tough questions. How do we build a more just world? How do we fight corruption? Keep learning, keep digging for the truth, and we'll see you next time on The Deep Dive.